Amen. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's bless the name of the Lord on today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's been so good to us. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. We bless God on today. Amen. We're in an edifice that we have never been to on before. Amen. We thank God for our combined service on this morning. Hallelujah. We catch on fire ministries. Hallelujah. We bless God. Hallelujah. Amen. New Life Ministries, are we in the house on this morning? I said, are we in the house on this morning? Catch on fire ministries, are y'all in the house on this morning? Hallelujah. We bless him. We bless him. We bless him. Amen. I bring you greetings all the way from down the hall. Hallelujah. <laughs> New Life Ministries, Church of God in Christ, where our pastor is, the one and only Pastor Tracy L. Boyd. Amen. First Lady, Lady Lisa Boyd. Amen. We shout out to our church mothers on this morning, Mother Lyle, Mother Wright, Mother Grimmage in the back, and Mother Harris. Hallelujah. While you're yet standing, let's put our hands together for Pastor Novella Springett of the one and only Catch on Fire Ministries. Hallelujah. She said she started with a couple of people two years ago. But look at what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. And it's marvelous in our eyes. I said, look at what the Lord has done. And it's marvelous in our eyes. Amen. As you all know me as Minister Fleming, Minister Latanya Fleming. Amen. I am going to now call up our New Life Ministries praise team. They're going to come forward and immediately after they finish singing, amen. Let me help you up, young man. Immediately after they finish singing, we're going to have our own brother Tay. He's going to pull the podium right here, and we're going to be in the hands of our pastor, none other than Pastor Tracy L. Boyd.
on, do it again. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Come on, bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Hallelujah. Come on, do it again. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank you, and uh, we praise you because you've been good to us. It's evident uh, that you've been good to us because we're here today, and uh, it's evident that uh, you've been good to us because we're here on our own accord. And uh, it's evident that uh, you've been good to us because uh, we're in our right mind, and uh, and we're happy to be here. Uh, I hope nobody made us come today uh, we're here on our own free will and uh, you woke us up this morning uh, alarm clock may have rang but you woke us up this morning you started us on our way today and so God we stop what we're doing yeah just for a moment uh, to tell you thank you thank you thank you Hey, you thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Will you, will you help me tell the Lord thank you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Will you help me tell the Lord thank you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lord, we thank you. Uh, we thank you for having your way. We thank you. For this ministry here, we thank you. For the pastor here, we thank you. For the membership. Yes, God, we thank you uh, for the membership. Catch, catch on fire. Ministries. And pastor Springett, God, we thank you for them. Encourage them today. Hallelujah, God. We just come from right next door. Just encourage him and tell him uh, to keep on going. Yeah, keep on going. Keep on going. Yeah. After two years, guys, keep on going. And so, God, have your way. And uh, New Life joins today. Uh, we catch up with five ministries. And, and so, God, we know it's some power in this place. Hallelujah. So any sick among us, I speak healing in the name of Jesus. Yeah, any sick among us, is any need among us today, I speak healing and deliverance and freedom in Jesus' name. God, bless your word today as you always do. Uh, encourage your man servant, strengthen your man servant. They be a blessing to these, your people. We thank you. Oh my goodness. And praise you. Bless those that's online, those that's watching us live. Hallelujah. Somebody life, I decree it today, will be the better because we were together today. And so, God, I thank you in advance for what you're going to do. I thank you in advance. We thank you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands and then be seated. Yes, come on. Clap your hands. I wish you look over at somebody and tell them God's good to me today. Yeah, I wish you look over at somebody else and tell them God is good to me today. And uh, in case that person didn't help you out, amen, look over at somebody else and tell them God's been good to you today. He's been good to you. He's been good to me. So if he's been good to you, amen, all I need help me get going here is about five people to jump on their feet and tell them tell somebody God's been good to me. Yeah. Jump on your feet and tell somebody that God's been good to me. Would you do that? Yes, yes, tell somebody, tell somebody. Yes, that God's been good to me. Amen. And truth be told. I don't look like what I've been through. I wish I had somebody help me here. <laughs> Truth be told, I don't look like 
what I've been through. I don't look like it. Had some challenges just within the last seven days. But look at me. Look at me. Come on, tell somebody. Look at me. Look at me. Don't be afraid to tell them. Look at me. I don't look like it. Excuse me while I tell the Lord, thank you. I wish I had somebody to tell the Lord, Lord, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you. on five ministries new life will you clap your hands for them new life ministries catch on fire will you clap your hands for new life ministries amen we are happy to be here with both ministries make some noise again a lot of noise but pastor springgate will you do that will you just make noise listen will you just stand and make some noise for Pastor Springer, will you do that? Will you do that? Will you bring Clap your hands for Pastor Springer. God bless you. And while you're already standing, clap your hands for Jesus. And make some noise for Jesus. Jesus. Be seated. Be seated. All right. Be seated. Be seated. Thank God for you. I know that uh, I'm between a rock and a hard place. Because we got a lot of children in here, and they only going to pay attention to me for so long. You say, how many? Maybe 20 minutes. <laughs> and they have done an exceptional job. They have done an exceptional job, brother. Uh, and they uh, deserve our uh, applause. Amen. Brother Marvin and I were in the hallway. He says that they have a lot of young people in the ministry. And we thought about that because young people turns into older people. And then into older people and into older people. And so I just come from the next door, amen, just to encourage a few people. I just come to encourage you. Amen. I just come just to encourage uh, Pastor Springett and the Catch on Fire Ministries. And I come to encourage New Life Ministries, amen, because uh, every now and then, it's okay to tell somebody that they're doing a good job. And then when you tell them that they're doing a good job, uh, every now and then, you got to encourage them, amen, because truth be told, amen, it seems like, it's not that way though, Crystal, it seems like sometimes there's more people against us than it is for us. But how many of you know that as long as we got Jesus on our side that is more for us than it is against us. And I just need about three or four of y'all to point at somebody and say, he's for you. He's for you. He's for you. And that means he's for me. Clap your hands and tell the Lord thank you. Clap them and tell them thank you. Thank you for being on my side. Thank you for being for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Makes me feel good to know that the Lord is on my side. It makes me mighty glad. All right. So I thank God for you. <laughs> I'm going to behave, you know, so y'all don't look at me funny when y'all see me next door. But God is good to me, young lady. And I'm so proud of you. You got on them drums. Now, you ran that fella off of there. Where's he go? You ran him off. <laughs> he was on that mother loud. She was in the praise team. And you guys done a great job. Listen, they done a great job. You're doing a great job. My goodness, why don't you clap your hands? You're doing a great job. And, uh, and so we want to encourage you, the future at work in the present. The future at work. You see them? And they were reading. And you guys were doing well. Because I tried to catch up with y'all. I tried to keep up with y'all. And I went through two pairs of glasses. To try to read, and then neither one of them were read with was long distance glasses, so I just say, I'll just trust y'all. And so, not only do that help them do God's praise work right, it helps them in school.
because it's no secret that they already count African Americans out in these schools. They say we can't read, we can't write, we can't do arithmetic. The devil is a liar. Because if you can read that and stay on beat, you ought to clap your hands and tell the Lord thank you. So we come to be a, 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 a encouragement to the children because they grow up. Do y'all know that young man on the keyboard? That's my godson. Trey, that's, that's his name. And Trey was this size. Trey was your size. Because he always, you know, but Trey was a little bitty troublemaker, right? Uh, but look at him, he grew up. He was in the church, he grew up. And then my daughter Crystal, she was a little bitty troublemaker, right? And uh, she grew up. And now she's singing in the praise team, leading the praise team, and he's on the keyboard. And I look at the young people, you're on the drums. Stay on the drums, keep on the drums if you can. And the young man, he's running the camera. And then uh, the young, um, um, the young people, because that were the children, the young people doing the praise dance. Hey, right now, that's good stuff. And then the adults. And you got it all the way down the line. Amen. Adults singing, amen. And so that is one of the reasons why the enemy will try to attack this ministry. Right? And so uh, because you are doing what you say, you've been doing two years. Two years. What a blessing. And so we look forward to fellowshipping with you uh, more. Amen. We, every now and then. Um, Evangelist Fleming, thank God for Evangelist Fleming, Minister Fleming. Um, make sure you stay on there, on them, so we, maybe once a quarter we can combine a service or something. Once a quarter or maybe twice a year we can combine a service, come over. And uh, uh, Pastor Springette, I'm always listening to her preach, right? And me and Marvin, we listen, and then I write notes, right? And then I use what she say sometimes right in the ministry, right over there, right? But I know we want to be a blessing to her. I didn't put this in the offering, but we want to give her a little love here, right? Amen. Evangelist Fleming. Amen. Just want to encourage. It ain't, it ain't a lot, but just a, a little encouragement. Amen. Want to encourage her to keep on doing what she's doing. I know that there have been obstacles, um, um, and all I have to do is just know that you're living right. Right? I don't have to know what your obstacle is. I don't have to know uh, what they've done to you. I don't have to know those things. All I have to know is that you're trying to live right. All I got to know is you're trying to do ministry work. That's all I need to know. Because if I know you're doing that, I know the enemy is going to come up against you on every hand, right? And so if you, as we get stronger and stronger, um, um, then they, the enemy can't bother us in so many areas. Then the enemy tries to mess with the children. Amen. It's 11-11. one 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 That's what time it is right now. If y'all say amen, I'll be finished 11 30. You like that, don't you? <laughs> I'll be finished. I won't be finished at 11.30, Sister Joy, but I'll quit at 11.30. Because <laughs> we learn that you don't finish. Amen. We quit. Amen. Will you make noise for three of our church mothers in the building? Mother Lau, Mother Wright, Mother Grimmage. And then keep on making noise because Mother Harris is online. We thank God for Mother Harris. Amen. We thank God. And so, Mother, I got one. I got some that, uh, Pastor Spring out. I got some that keep me encouraged. Amen. And that's our four church mothers. Amen. We thank God for them. And will you clap hands for the first lady? I thank the Lord for her. And all of you today, my daughter, amen. Thank God for you. My wife said that today was Wives' Day. Is that what you said? Yeah, she looked online. Now, I never heard of Wives' Day. W I V E S. Is that what it is? She said today was Wives' Day. Now, I never heard of Wives' Day. I never heard of Wives' Day. Anybody ever heard of Wives' Day? You ever heard of Wives' Day? I never heard of Wives' Day. But she went and researched, right? And, uh, and she went and said today is Wives' Day. I mean, you got Mother's Day. You got your birthday. You got Sweetheart's Day. You got Sweetest Day. You got Candy Day. You got Christmas. And then they come up with Wives' Day. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. So I thank God for my wife. Amen. So she say, today is Wives' Day. I praise the Lord for my wife. Will you help me clap your hands for my wife? Amen. Thank the Lord for her. <laughs> Amen. Thank God we've been together 44 years. I appreciate the Lord for that. 
And, uh, and listen, one more thing, and I'm going to preach out of here real quick. Guess what tomorrow is? Tomorrow is my birthday. Tomorrow is my birthday. Yes, tomorrow is my birthday. The Lord delay is coming for a few more hours, and I'll be 59. And ain't that something to be 59? Amen. I'll be 59. So I'm so God's been good to me. Amen. Down through the years. God has been good to me. And every now and then, I let somebody know that God is good to me. Despite me messing up, despite me getting into trouble, despite me bumping my head on occasions, I wish I had somebody lay your hands on yourself and say, God has been good to me. And I just want to thank him. Will you stand on your feet, Father, y'all, and just say, God, I just want to thank you. For being good to me, I just want to thank you. Just want to thank you. Just want to clap my hands. Just want to clap my hands. Okay. 
It's your day. 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 God say, quit worrying about it. You quit worrying about it. It's your day. Put your hands on my shoulder. You know how? Y'all know each other. It's your day. I declare this day be your day. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 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 It's your day. It's your day. Restoration. Restoration has come to your house. Restoration. Directory, trajectory, I think that's a word. Trajectory. Yeah, God's changing your direction. You got children in here? You got what they at? The ones that came to hug you? The, the, all of them, you're, the drummer? He's a good young man. Yeah. You got the whole football team. Now she look like you. God's gonna make it work. He's gonna cut that worry out. Cause that worry making you sick. God's gonna, he's gonna work that thing out. All right. From Acts the 14th chapter, verse 19 and 20, just let me encourage you for a few minutes, and then um, uh, we won't keep you long, amen, because uh, I want to try to encourage you every time I see you, right? So as long as you keep letting me see you, I'll keep on trying to encourage you. So I don't, try to, I don't have to try to get it all in in one day. But I do want to leave this with you. Don't quit. Right? And of course, um, that's an easy two-word statement. It's e sometimes it's easier said than done. And uh, of course, when I asked the Lord for something to encourage the ministry with, he gave it to me for Pastor Springett. He said, don't quit. Right? Because sometimes... You have the towel in your hand ready to throw it in. Anybody ever been there? Tell the truth about it. You've had the towel in your hand ready to throw it in. And that's why you got to be careful who you're around because instead of them encouraging you to hold on to the towel, some people will encourage you to throw the towel in. We come from one door over to tell you to hold the towel and don't quit. 
we, 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 and we're going to use one of, of your pastor's uh, favorite people in ministry, and that's Paul. Because yes. if anybody, Sister Sheree, thank God for you. Amen. I ain't going to bother you about how you hurt your ankle running, you know. <laughs> but uh, here's the thing. If anybody um, had a reason to give up while he was doing God's work was Paul. Because every time Paul tried to help and do right by people, it seems as though, amen, uh, the enemy was always around him to try to deter him. And so this is one of my favorite passages of scripture that I like to read. But again, I want to leave with you uh, because I told you I'm, I'm, a, I'm not going to finish. You a sweetheart, you know that. Now, is this your sister? Who does the cooking? You do the cooking? Lord have mercy. All y'all do the cooking. Listen, uh, everywhere I go, in, 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 I'm, I'm y'all know I'm with the Church of God in Christ, and I travel into Memphis, and I go places. Everywhere I go, I talk about the Catch on Fire Ministries. Now, I may not can't get your pastor's name right, because I get a bad grade on that. I'm going to tell you that right now. And so I had to look on Facebook to find out what her name is most times. But I know her face, and I know her heart. And ever since we've been in this building, she's been helpful to us. That's right, that's right. She's been an encouragement to us. Right? And here's the thing that I love about her, Mother Lau. She don't tell everybody about it. I don't always want you to do something for me and then tell everybody about it. Amen. So she is an awesome leader, and I thank God that you guys are supporting her. But everywhere I go, I tell them about how y'all feed us. <laughs> Every day. Y'all feed us. And even when my wife and I were absent, we were in Maryland, I heard that y'all still fed my daughter. Amen. And so I thank God for that because everybody don't do that, right? We moved in right next to you guys. You guys could have been offended. You guys could have been like, what are they doing? You guys could have been, you know, what, what, we don't need another ministry here, right? And so well, what happened is the very moment that we walked in this building, your pastor has been a blessing to us has been a blessing to us. And I want you to know God is not going to let you beat him being a blessing. Amen. He's not going to let you beat him being a blessing. So you're a blessing to us. So everything that you have done to be a blessing to us, I say, God, give it back to her time some, right? And so, and then so goes her, so goes the ministry. So we thank God that you feed us. You get a special reward when you take care of the preacher. It's, it's a special type of reward you get when you take care of the preacher. So that's why you got to be careful. You got to know what you're doing, and you got to be hard um, on things when you are assigned to take care of the preacher. Because everybody's not going to support you while you take care of the preacher. Right? They're going to ask you why you keep doing that, why you keep saying this, why you keep going there. Everybody's not going to be on your side when you take care of the preacher. But you got a special place in God's heart when you take care of the preacher. I just want you to know that. So we thank God. My time is almost up. We thank God that you are who you are in this community. Amen. And that's why the enemy wants you to quit. Because you have an impact. You don't have to quit. You don't have to stop what you're doing if you're not having impact. Thank God for the praise team. And so uh, for our praise team and yours. So thank God for all of you. So here's the thing that Paul, I'm going to read this scripture and I'm going to move on. But this is an important scripture. Acts 14, 19, and 20 reads what? And there came thither certain Jews from Antioch and Iconium who persuaded the people. Good God Almighty. And having stoned Paul, drew him out of the city, supposing he had been dead. Howbeit, as the disciples stood round about him, he rose up and came into the city. And the next day he departed with Barnabas to Derby. 21, and when they had preached the gospel to that city and had taught many, they returned again to Lysteria and to Iconium and to Antioch. Let me go back to 19. It said, and there came uh, there the certain Jews from Antioch and Iconium who persuaded the people. They persuaded the people. And having stoned Paul drew him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. And so here's the thing, because I got about three or four pages here. Y'all don't mind if I cut them short, do y'all? Let, let, let me just encourage you for a few minutes. There's going to be people that's going to try to persuade other people, amen, to go against you. And here's the thing that's unique about this story. Um, and, and if you look at, uh, uh, this is 14 and 19, 
if you look at 14 and, and, and 5, if you read the whole chapter, of course, but 14 and 5, um, these particular Jews, this particular crowd went around causing trouble, trouble because Paul and Barnabas was doing ministry work. And here's the thing. It should not have been that easy to persuade the people to go against Paul. Because they had witnessed Paul do miracles in their presence. Paul had been an encouragement and inspiration and impact to all of them at a certain time. And here's what I found out in reading the story. They followed Paul around and they followed the crowd around. And they did all they could to influence the crowd to go against Paul. It didn't take them long. It should have been harder for them to influence the crowd against Paul. But here's what I want you to know. And I'm going I'm to hurry up out of here in a few minutes. In, 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 in some Church of God in Christ minutes. I'm going to hurry up out of here. You cannot let people's response of you cause you to stay down. You got to be careful. Because we're living in a time now to where every time you do something good, there's somebody around to try to make it bad. And when you were doing work for the Lord, Paul was doing work for the Lord. Now, some of that was, was karma for Paul. You got to know what I'm talking about. But still, Paul made up in his mind that he was going to do right by God. And when you do that, there's going to be challenges. I spoke into your life today. I told you that God's going to change some things. And so I want you to start looking for that. As God begins to change things, don't expect people to applaud what God is changing. Don't expect people to say, I remember the preacher said such and such, and we're excited about that. That's not always going to happen. It would be great if they was a, a, appreciative of what God has spoken to your life, but that's not always the case. And so Pastor Springett started this ministry two years ago, and she said she just started with a couple people. And God has already blessed. But I want you to understand that because God has blessed you don't mean that every ministry in this city will celebrate you. They're not going to do that. So what you got to make up in your mind is no matter what the enemy brings up against me, I'm going to keep on going. So in this passage of scripture, it's unique because they had witnessed what Paul were doing. Paul was encouragement to a lot of them in their life. Paul fed some of their family. Paul paid some of their family's bills. If y'all work with me a little bit. Paul spoke into their family's life. And so the same ones that the Jews had went around stirring up trouble with, they should have told them, no, that's not Paul. Paul was an encouragement to me. Paul helped me. Paul prayed for me. Paul fed me. Paul babysitted my children. Paul worked with me. They didn't do that. They were so easily persuaded that they got together with the Jews. And this was verse 19. And they came together, persuaded the people, and they stoned Paul right at the city. They, they wanted to kill him. Ain't that crazy? And we're living in 2024. People still trying to kill you. People still trying to kill what you're doing in ministry. And if you're not careful, you see, because Paul could have laid down there and said, listen, I've done enough. I've done enough. Leave. Have you ever felt like it when you were down? Just say, leave me alone. Anybody ever felt like that? Just leave me alone. Uh, Y'all tried to hurt me, you know, because here's the thing that, that I want to bring out, and, and I promise I'm going to quit it in a few minutes. But here's the thing. It says in the scripture that when Paul was laying dead, laying for dead, they, they left him for dead. It's kind of like they did you when, they, when you got shot six or seven times. You got shot six times. Five times, they left you for dead. Left you for dead. And I, I wasn't there. I heard the story. But I, I, I can imagine it was some of your friends that was there too. There was some friends that was there that, that probably wasn't there to help you. There was some friends that could have helped you. It was some friends that when you went to court could have said, I know who did it. It was some friends that was there that you helped. Because one thing I know about you, that when you have something, you help people. That's right. Now, you gave us them little uh, 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 daycare sandwiches when we went to Mississippi. But I appreciate that. We rode to Mississippi, and she was in charge of the sandwiches, right? Go six Mississippi, about six hours away. So what she did was she bought her a Ziploc. You know, I don't want you to cut my sandwich in half. 
She bought out a Ziploc bag with a whole bunch of, I call them daycare sandwiches. But what she did was she spent her own money to make sure that the pastor and his wife was taken care of while we drove six hours to Mississippi to support the bishop. Right? And Toy was right there, right? So whenever you have something, you always give. And that's how Paul was. Paul had a given spirit. Paul had a, a, a spirit that he always wanted to do well by people. But let me tell you something. Only because you want to do well by people don't mean that people want to do well by you. It would be easier if they just did for you what you did for them. But the same people that you cut sandwiches in half for to be a blessing to them is the same people that look down on you when the enemy trying to kill you. And when Paul would land, they're looking, uh, when Paul would land outside of the city and they was hoping that he was dead, some of the disciples that was looking down on him was expecting him to die. They didn't lift their hands to say, Paul, let me help you up. They didn't say nothing to the Jews that were stoning them. They just fell in with the crowd. Sometimes it's a dangerous thing to fall in with the crowd. Young people, if I can encourage you for a few minutes, sometimes it's a dangerous thing to fall in with the crowd. I saw y'all praise dancing, and I saw y'all enjoying the Lord, and that took some training. That took some heart. That took some discipline. But let me tell you something. You got to be careful of the crowd that you hang around with. Cross the same crowd. I wish I had somebody say same crowd. The same crowd that you were with and you were encouraging. Whenever Did you see how they high five each other? You saw the one girl dance. And she went over there. That's her soul. They ran over here, and they high-fived each other. Y'all seen that? They sure did. They high-fived each other. And I wrote that on my notes. It was so important. Because do all you can to get away from people who won't high-five you when you're doing well. You, you, wasn't, you, wasn't, at the, you wasn't at the hickama juke, whatever you call it. You were in the ministry impacting Senior people in ministry. And, and, and we thought about that. And so you hurry up and get away from people who don't celebrate you. Hurry up. What happens with African Americans, we hang around folks too long who don't encourage us. Hurry up and get away. Right? Somebody said hurry up. And get away. The whole intent of the Jews in their effort to kill Paul was to stop him from promoting Jesus. Stop Paul from living from Jesus. Everybody's not going to celebrate you after you've given your life to Christ. If God haven't taken you down, if God haven't taken your voice, then you still got work to do. Look at somebody and say, you still got work to do. It can be difficult. I'm almost finished. Y'all see me closing my book, my notes? There was a whole bunch more notes on this paper than what I just read. You're going to get an increase in pay. You work. You do what? Disabled. You need more money? Yeah, you need. Well, yeah, you got all them back there. I know. <laughs> and that one in that blue jean jacket don't miss no meal, do she? She's a sweetheart. God's going to bless you, young lady. Because it, 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 I'm just letting you, I'm just keeping encouraged. I'm finished. Y'all don't matter if I can stop, do y'all? Because it takes something in them to catch on to what they're doing. And, and, and I'm not telling you for something that I just heard. I'm telling you what I know, how I feel, how God has blessed me, right? And so these young ladies in the back are going someplace. But it takes you to be hard on them. Hard on them. And, 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 and you got a belt? A baseball bat. I just bought this little. You saw, I just bought this little bitty Louis Slugger, Louisville Slugger, a little bitty one for for knees. It can be difficult to get past the disappointments of who the stoners are, right? You look up in the crowd and you are surprised to see some of the same people that you helped. 
participating in the stoning. Is that right? It's disappointing. It's disappointing because Paul was laying down. They left him for dead. They wasn't playing around. Listen, folks ain't playing around with you when they're trying to hurt your feelings. They're trying to hurt your feelings for real. They're trying to take you out for real. They're not playing no game. They're trying to hurt you for real. They're trying to dismantle you for real. They're not playing no games. They tried to kill. They, to, to what, from what they knew, they had killed Paul. It's the same people, like I say, that he was ministering to. If you read the scripture, same people who had been telling that Jesus is, have come to save those which was lost. He was prophesying to him. He was preaching to him. He was, he was, he was changed. He was a life changer. And those were the same ones that were so easily persuaded to help kill the man that was trying to look out for them. If I could tell Paul anything, I say, when you get up, get away from him. Amen. Look at somebody and say, because you're going to get up. You're going to get up. Look at somebody and say, you're going to get up. So on my topic today, I put something on this book, on this paper. It say, live through it. That's what I want to put on. Live through it. Look over at somebody and say, live through it. Because after a while, you, 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 you'll get caught on what they've done to you. Right, lady boy? At the wild, because I, I had to catch myself with that, Sister, Sister Joy. You'll get, if you're not careful, you'll get caught up on what they've done to you. And it'll keep playing in your mind, and it'll hinder you. If your first relationship didn't work, it didn't work. Get up and live through it. Because God... It's going to replace everything you lost. I wish I had somebody lost something. Anybody ever lost anything? Anybody ever lost something? God is going to give you back everything you lost. I just need about five people in here to stand on your feet that if you're lost. About five people here that ever lost something. Just, I just need about five of y'all that lost something. And you'll believe the man of God today, today when I say God's going to give you back everything that you lost. Let's pray. God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We praise you. What an outpouring of your spirit today on your people. Thank you, God, that we were able to be an encouragement to our brothers, our sisters, our sister in Christ, Pastor Springett, and Catch on Fire Ministries along New Life Ministries. God, as long as we're here together, we want to be an encouragement to each other. And you, you do that, God. You do that for us in the name of Jesus. That we'll keep preaching Jesus no matter what happens. No matter what people say. No matter what people do. No matter how they leave us for dead. We're going to keep preaching Jesus. We're going to keep living Jesus. We're going to keep celebrating Jesus. God is good to us. So we thank you and we praise you. Everybody that'll lift their hands. Everybody that'll lift their hands in the room is blessed. Everybody that lift their hands in the room is blessed. So God, we thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. While you're standing, anybody want to give their life to Christ? I want this opportunity to pass you by. You want to give your life to Christ. If you want to give your life to Christ, come on. Anybody want to give their life to Christ? Makes my joining with Pastor Spring yet today most enjoyable. Come on over here. Stand by Mother Loud. Yes, these sisters want to give their life. You want to give your life to Christ. Somebody in the building ought to be lifting their hands. Tell the Lord, thank you. You clapping with them? She said, I'm clapping with y'all, but I ain't standing next to y'all. She done moved over, Mother, Mother Loud. She moved over. God bless y'all. Amen. Uh, Fleming, come stand next to them. Lady, I'm going to let Pastor Springett come. Give your life, give their life to Christ. Amen. And uh, I'm going to let Pastor Springett come. And take over this part of the service. I'm excited about y'all. Now, you were dancing. God bless you. How old are you? That's a, good, that's a good age to give your life to Christ. And do your best to live for Christ. With what you understand and what the pastor teaches you. Thing. How old are you? 14. Look at these ages. Your life to Christ. Amen. Pastor Spring.